Hello my friends, it's episode 6, and your random World War 2 fact for the day is that uh, over 50% of casualties were inflicted by artillery. But what if orcs were best? <laughs> these are rookie numbers, you gotta pump these numbers up. Okay, so um, looking at this while I was um, planning out what I was gonna do. Uh, some of these units changed color, and that's because we're on a sandy map. This is truly not helpful to me. So I'm going to remark these in gray. So to avoid any confusion. One other thing I noticed was that I had a 15 centimeter gun. With zero slots on it. this one. The correct move, of course, is to uh, swap those around. There it is. It's kind of funny, really, because one thing that this does prove, one thing that this campaign has proved without doubt in my mind, is that. You know, while zero slots is uh, is very nice and everything, it does not um, it does not um, increase the power of your arm. It gives you more units. Uh, but those units may not necessarily be very powerful. You know, these low experience artillery really prove the point. They, they were struggling to even get a single kill most of the time. Right. Now, I had some ideas here in terms of... I have these um, rapid fire 2x heroes for uh, anti aircraft guns. I don't know if you could put them on. So these are technically anti tanks. So my thought was since I'm since I have so many anti aircraft guns. I don't particularly need to specialize them. I have another uh, river. River Assault and mark this one blue. Not that horrendous colour. <laughs> uh, which colour am I using for this? So my thought was, oh, you totally can. This is amazing. <laughs> this is going to be great. 
Can these things also use the artillery hero? I'm going to presume no. No, not allowed. That's some serious extra firepower that these are, that are, these are going to have. Right, so I'm going to just camo up the weaker ones. I think that's what I want to do with my camo. Because my main, my main weakness of my army, in my opinion, other than not being able to scout, is aircraft. There we go. This will do is my, my camo. So these guys can rack up some experience hammering aircraft that think that the what they're defending is undefended. I'm not sure I need this many anti-aircraft guns either for this mission. Considering that it's just a, if you look at the map, it's just a corridor. Hence the name, Operation Corridor. It's just a, uh, it's just a path down the middle of the map. <clears throat> Should be easy enough to uh, deal with the uh, enemies. Right, we have three units that we're allowed to change. One thing I definitely want to change is the Wonder Awful. Now, it's an interesting choice here in that we have the 30 centimeter Super Waffle um, <clears throat> with improved attack stats. Not self-propelled, but who cares. And then we also have this, which also has the improved attack stats, but it costs extra slots. Or we could run Hummels. But then we lose our Rapid Fire 2x. I'm running low on 21 centimeter guns as well, funnily enough. Considering the sheer amount of them that I'm using all the time. So yeah, it's a genuine question of... Because with my traits, of course, being self-propelled is not such a big deal. However, these units are harder to destroy thanks to their uh, ground defense value. So it's not just a... Uh, it's not just an issue of transport, it's an issue of defense value. These are definitely more infantry resistant. And more air resistant too. Much more air resistant. Let's, let's change these to super waffles. Why not? With limited stock, I do actually need to use a variety of things. I can't just spam 21 centimeter and 15 centimeter guns. 
because I am... I, I mean, I've got loads of 15 centimeter guns, but I do not have the greatest stockpile of 21 centimeter guns. It could so easily be attritioned away. I mean, you can see the damage to the stockpile compared to 17 centimeter, which I've never used. <clears throat> and, uh... Uh, you have 21 centimeter technology for longer. <clears throat> so I've definitely gotten through them. Right, so that leaves us with one slot. If there's any other here. Oh right, okay, right. We've got the counter battery thing to deal with. Um Okay. Uh, the main well, wow, one of the biggest issues as well is the ammunition. Only two shots on these. Like, wouldn't it be a great idea to extend the range? Yeah, but the problem is the ammo. Interestingly, full support and double strike. I'm thinking that we should just counter battery a 21 centimeter gun. What am I about? It comes with that. <clears throat> it just doesn't make sense to use this hero a lot of the time. There is this 15 centimeter gun that's not really doing anything, but it has very high experience. slots. This is actually uh, 12 slots. Hmm. Let's pull off superior maneuver because it's not that useful. Let's shuffle these out of my army temporarily. And let's pull reduced slots from this and this. Slots. Off you go. Okay. All right, that frees up some more slots. What am I going to do with them? Good question.
You see, the plus two range. I I could just totally give that to something else. To a 21 centimeter gun. See, your mind, in your mind, you're thinking, oh, you know, this plus this means that I can have a unit that's not a 21 centimeter gun. I can give it counter battery and it will actually be useful. But then, if you do that, you might not be getting the full value of this, which is probably best placed on a 21 centimeter gun to give it more reach. <clears throat> Unless you go down the path of putting it on a waffle. But the waffle has the issue that it's uh, only got two shots. So it's going to struggle at the best of times. Bombar. <laughs> it's an assault gun, really. Thought it might be funny to make a counter battery bombar. It's got the same. It's got the same stats as a Hummel, except its range is absolutely appallingly awful. But it's way cheaper in slots. But then again, it's not amount of units that's my problem. It's power of units. Let's extend the range of this 15 centimeter gun and add counter battery to it. What the hell? That gives it really good range. This is nearly a five star unit. What's the standard entrenchment smashing ability of this? 2x. So we could also magnify its ability to smash defenses. It doesn't matter much for artillery, but it does, there is some minor impact. And ignores entrenchment. So it will both destroy the entrenchment for other units, but also ignore it. Right, what do I do with five slots? Do you know what? Our camouflaged boys, we could use the old 12.8 for them. Giving them uh, extra spicy stopping ability. I can't change both of them because I'm out of upgrade changes, but I can change one. Now at some point I need to change these three to something more useful. 7.5 centimeter artillery is a joke. It's useful, if you remember from the campaign where I used those, they're useful defensively for wasting the enemy's time. 
on the cheap. But uh, we're on the offence here, so that's not really not really a valuable use of time. Sure, why not? Now the heroes I can just shove on for the sake of having heroes shoved on. Uh, you know, Fearsome Reputation is such a great hero. <laughs> but not for a wall of artillery. It's funny, really. Um, legendary, why not? All right, that'll do. Leave half my heroes at home. Right, I'm going to presume that one team's going to go down this way and one team's going to go this way and potentially one team's going to go that way. Okay, let's have the evil finger of doom on that side. Full supporter. Oops. aircraft gun. Uh, let's send the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll send the secret counter battery down here. And one waffle. Okay. Where are their air bases? Do they even have any? They might have portable air bases. There is an air base there. aircraft gun as well. <clears throat> right. Defender artillery at the front. We'll have to reorganize this mess as the thing proceeds. Deployment's not exactly particularly straight and uh, like I can't just easily make an actual proper wall so that will have to be done on the first turn. I have three slots left and having spare slots gives me hives so what do I do with them? Storm who bits however that's pronounced. Oh, I'm looking at fighters for man can dream. <laughs> we don't get fighters in this business.
two slots. Two slots for this hot garbage. Seven point five centimeter gun with a fearsome reputation. <laughs> I love it. I love the idea of it. Ah, oh, let's forget it. Okay, that's it for deployment. Obviously, I'm going to try and split off a tactical group to go this way. This tactical group is going to go this way. A tactical group being usually precisely seven units. This one's got one more. But this is camouflaged. But that's the secret source. Let's see how many kills the finger of God can get on the first turn. That is it for deployment. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.